First, Navita Forgani is in Eloy, uh, Eloy, and that seemed to be the epicenter, really, of the damage. Yeah, a lot of damage right here in El Eloy. Take a look over here. There is a house on the corner of Santa Cruz. That roof is completely ripped off the house. It was ripped off from that storm. It was sent over here, the roof, to a house two doors down where it smashed right into the side of the house. You can see debris pretty much everywhere. And we're live right here on top of a roof as crews uh, work on this roof. That's right in between the two houses. A lot of damage in the area. And we spoke to two women uh, today that talked about some of their life, uh, some of the problems they experienced during the storm. But first, we're going to go to Air 15, where they are at a home on Highway 84. And all doors were damaged to a home, and there's some damage and roof damage to a home, and there's some people that are still living inside that house. But first, uh, this story here of two women who, are str who struggled for their lives as the storm blew through the area. Depending on the street, you may not be able to tell that parts of Eloy are destroyed. Rooftops ripped off of homes and trees on power lines. Take the street that Martha Medina lives on. Her home was the only home on East Phoenix damaged by the storm. There's a branch inside through the attic. It's in the attic, but not through the house. The tree in her front yard that's been there for more than 16 years uprooted in a matter of seconds, falling on her home and her car. My sister was home and my son was home. I was at work. And just a few blocks away, meet Anastasia Jordan. This is what used to be our living room. She was home alone when Thursday's storms completely ripped off the roof to her house. For like 10 seconds, it just happened, it happened so fast. The roof didn't even crack or anything, it was just pff, gone. The plywood fell down and the roof just flew off and I dove into the corner of our house. She's now surrounded by family, thankful to be alive. In shock. I thought everything was going to hit me. As you can see, still working on a lot of homes here, and a lot of people are picking up the pieces. After tonight's game, we're going to show you reaction from the community about the destruction that came through this area. Live in Eloy, Navita Fergani, ABC 15. Yeah, it's a lot to clean up. Thank you.